And finally, this is a Mad at the Internet stream, so there is an obligatory topic that I must touch on whenever possible. And that is, of course, Ethan Ralph of the Kill Stream. Ethan has had an eventful weekend, um, capstoned by his adventures to go see his son, Zanda. Zanda is in San Diego, and that is very far away from the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. So Ethan Ralph is on a bit of a venture. But before he does that, he wants to imitate the Matt at the Internet stream just a little bit more. Um, his fiber connection got knocked out, so he said, fuck it, and he went and got a Starlink. So uh, Ethan went out and bought a Starlink. He bought a cheap one, though. He didn't get, like, a, a business dishy. He didn't get the business connection. He got, like, the basic bitch connection, which apparently you can get at a discount in Mexico. You get, like, different prices for your, your plan there. So he got like the basic bitch Starlink, and he's like, "Look, I'm I'm just like that Josh Moon. I got connected to the internet by a satellite. I love you, Elon Musk. I love you so much." Um, and then, 270 people, 170 people watching him unbox that dishy. That's why he got the basic one. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's smug. I'm smug posting. Um, but that's that's the least of his worries. Okay. He has a real mission. Setting up a Starlink is is just the bottom. It's just the baseline of what he's trying to accomplish. Well, what he's trying to accomplish is to see his son. And nothing, and I mean nothing, is going to get in the way of Ethan Ralph seeing Xander. Um, except his own sobriety, perhaps. Because he gets to Mexico, and then he says... I will never fly Aero Mexico again, nor use the main airport Benito Juarez in Mexico City ever again. I'm filing a charge back again, these thieves, and we'll see where it goes. Maybe nowhere, but I'm doing it anyway. And he continues. These airport faggot act like they're the fucking police. Post wrong times for flight, then blame it on you, and don't let you board the second flight for no reason. Flashlight cops was the term. They're the power-hungry fags, and they're racist too. Fuck them all. At Aero Mexico. Aero Mexico replies and says, Hello, please share more information. I can't do a Mexican. I can't do Mexican. How am I going to return to the U.S. if I can't do a racist Mexican accent? Chat. Hello. Uh, please, please. I, have to, I have to look myself in the mirror and do this. Please share more information with us via DM so we can help you. To which Ralph replies and says, You left me stranded and missed my first visit with my son, which is the only reason I came. Then told me to call customer service in the middle of a customer service center. I ripped up the second ticket and I told the guy to suck my dig and threw it in his face. Literally. U.S. of Hug. <laughs> oh, and now you care because my racism allegation? You absolutely were racist. Uh, there's a lovely picture, I think, right below this. Oh, wait, there's more. Viva Aerobus, who I used to criticize, have never had the gal to treat me like Aero Mexico. I missed a flat with my son that I paid for, by the way. Complete, but it's beside the point. So these fleshlight co <laughs> Bro, your autocorrect is getting kind of sussy, uh, Ralph. <laughs> these fleshlight cops can try 2.B, dominate. I have never, I have gotten arrested for what I said back to them in the U.S., so small Mexico victory. I guess he said he was going to kill them or something. Um, so based off his uh, adequacy at typing, I'm going to assume that he's not completely sober. Um, and then there's a little thing. This is me making fun of him for being incompetent. The little thing. There it is. Ah, oh, bam. Beautiful. And interest says, I miss my flight because I'm a sloppy drunk and you won't pay for a rebooking. Give me the manager, you racist. Now, this is probably more accurate than, uh, than Ralph's recount, but <laughs> I don't think he would admit that. That doesn't sound as badass. So Ethan Ralph. On a clandestine journey to visit his son. Unable to be dissuaded. Where the fuck is the next one? 
Um, fuck, I'm going to have to scan. I thought I picked this up, and I fucked it up. Thank God. Oh, sorry. Should I read my own post? Oh, no, wait. This is a below the actual alert, by the way. He, um... He said that he was in... Oh, wait, here. Okay, so he was stuck in Tijuana, and he uh, eventually did get to see his son, Zanda. But he arrived more than an hour late. He said he had a shortened visit with Xander. 65 mend instead of two hours. I was late because I basically had to use Mexican coyotes to help me skip the longer line. Wonderful visit, though. And he actually called me daddy this time, which made me tear up. No confirmations. So he saw his son and, his, and cried. And um, and that's his, he's alleging that he, as an American citizen, had to use illegal trafficking people to get across the border expeditiously, which is just preposterous. Um, so I will, I will read you my fanfic from the fanfic farm. Are you ready? So there I was, the grandfather of my son, Xander, had called in the hit. Aero Mexico was on the lookout, and the second they saw me, they had cooked up any old excuse to boot me off the plane. Tom was working against me. A staggering four to five minute drive to San Diego, I had to think fast on how to cross the border. Stumbling from the airport, I solicited the greasiest wetbacks I could find in the area for help. They warned me the trip was fraught with dangers. The border was locked up tighter than a Catholic chica's chastity belt. They wanted mucho dinero, but luckily I was internet famous with hundreds of thousands of dollars to my name, which they had heard of. Three of the men died on the way, one to thirst, the other to moat gators, the third to a border guard sniper. The last didn't care. He was MS-13 and knew the fewer men meant a bigger share of my American dollarinos. Me and the hombre, I didn't have time to learn his name, being in such a hurry, parted ways. He told me he was a big fan of the Keel stream and he wished me luck fighting the American family court system. I nodded at him in the understanding way only two men can. I arrived there a mere 115 minutes late, caked in dirt and sweat. They were already getting to leave, and I told that bitch to shit the fuck down because I was getting my five minutes. There he was, Xander. I hugged him, and I told him, I love you, son. He looked at me and cried, tears of joy. Thankfully, the trip back was much less perilous. I had arrived with only the bare essentials. My man purse had my phone, wallet, cash, and credit, and my American passport. I flew American the way back to the Yucatan. Another great day. To be a Ralph of male. And then everybody clapped. Bravo, bravissimo. The things that Ethan Ralph does to see his son. That's true dedication. What a real man. Uh, every, er, everyone knows that a real man knocks up a BPD whore <laughs> who gets sent to a mental hospital after fucking you. And then you see your son for approximately 55 minutes every three months. <laughs> because you're too, you're too much of a fuck up lush pill popping junkie piece of shit to make a fucking flight you know how the flight to from yucatan to san diego what is that like a six hour flight tops can't do it uh so he's planning he's made it back he's showing off the claw check out my claw i got five fingers still i know it's impressive having dug my way through the tunnels, underground the border fence to get to my son Xander. Uh, but I did manage to keep on my fingies. Um, he's moving to Tijuana now. And you might be thinking, isn't Tijuana one of the most dangerous cities in the entire world? Yes, it is. It is one of the most dangerous cities in the entire world. Yes. Uh, American tourists do get decapitated there. Yes, that happens. <clears throat> However, Ralph, of course, is a... Uh, top dog and he is going to live in the city center the most expensive area where it's safe for white people that's his uh, stated plan I of course wish mr ralph luck in reuniting with his son thank you for watching this clip by colonel j this is the king of bold here remember to like and subscribe juice